Hello, this is Mo, your urban amateur gardener from Houston, Texas. And this video is, oh, excuse me, Houston, Texas, USA. And this video is about the herb spearmint. I love spearmint. I love how it smells. I love how it doesn't require much care. I love how I can make tea out of it and plenty for myself and family and also to give friends. Uh, first of all, this bed right here, which is about probably 10 feet long, I have two of these like this filled with spearmint. It needs to be contained because it will just take over everything if you don't contain it. Um, I chop one, about once a month, not in the winter, it goes a little slower in the winter, but in the uh, spring and summer and fall months, I chop this down about once a month and uh, probably a couple of each one of these beds I get a huge colander full and uh, I make tea with it. So the reason I want to keep it short is the part I like to use best for the tea is the tops. Let me find my clippers. Okay, so you can see this is about how high I let it get. If I let it get more tall than that, then there's a lot of twigs and I have to pull the leaves off the twigs and that's too much trouble for me. So I like to keep it nice and short and I just, you know, clip off the tops. So yeah, let me grab some here and show you. See, so I just, I really just clip off the tops. That's the best part for me for the tea. And I go through the whole bed and do that, clip off the tops. And you can see right here, I've already clipped off the tops. And, uh, oh, here, right here. So once I've clipped off the tops, then if I, if it's a lot of um, stem sticking up and I want to uh, trim it down a little more, I'll trim it down and if they're healthy, I put it in the green bucket, that's for the compost pit. And if they look diseased, I put it in the gray bucket, which is the trash. That helps me, all, all my uh, trash buckets are gray and the recycle things are green and that helps me to, you know, kind of like without thinking, put it in one of the other bucket and um, anyway, so, so then I chop it down like this nice and short, oops, so that, I guess I have to do a little thinking about which bucket to put it in. Um, anyway, I, I like to keep it nice and short. Then within a month, it'll grow back to this. And then I, again, chop it down. You know, I start, well, I usually try to do it in an organized fashion, start at one end, chop all the tops. smells so good. It's a nice job because the smell is just great. Okay, so anyway, so I chop them all up. I put it in a nice big colander, bring it in the house, put it in the sink, rinse it out a little bit. Not that it has any pesticides or anything on it because I only use uh, organic fertilizer. And uh, if I have to spray it for bugs, I use that spinosoid, which is just really a sap, a soap. And I only do it at night so that I don't uh, kill any bees or anything like that. And it only lasts about a day. It's, uh, you know, it'll kill like uh, bugs that are eating the vegetables and herbs, but uh, it just doesn't last. So it, it's not a real destructive uh, way to get rid of pests. And um, once I do that, I put it in the sink and rinse it a little bit just so that if there's any worms, the worms come to the surface and I throw those away. Next thing I do is, this is for spearmint tea. I will put a nice big, this is after, wa um, after washing it, take my lovely, my favorite knife, chef knife, and anytime you're using a knife, you need to make sure you keep your fingers tucked behind. Okay, so if I'm cutting, see how my fingers are tucked behind, and I'll chop some like this, but once I get it chopped just a little bit, and don't ever be chopping while you're gathering. Wait till your fingers are back again. Fingers back, a little bit of chopping. Always, never, ever fingers in front of the knife. Fingers always behind the knife. Okay, and then once I get it like that, you hold the tip down and do some chopping. So I chop it up real nice and fine. And once I get it chopped up the way I like, pull the big pieces on the middle, chop some more. Because I do all this in the house. But once I get that like that, the next thing is <clears throat> I spread it out on trays. And I see I don't want stems in the tea, so that's why I only clip the tops. 
and then you know I lay it out someplace where it's not in the way in the house and once a day I come by and I kind of turn it a little bit like that to help it dry evenly. I have a couple, two of these is from this 10 foot bed on the other side that I already clipped and uh, you know in a few days or a week I don't really pay attention to how much time it is because you know it's just there and it's making the house smell beautiful <coughs> but when it's good and dry then I put it in bags and label it spearmint the month the um, <coughs> put them in clear bags and label it uh, month and year and spearmint and then I you know rotate it and use the older stuff first um, <coughs> What I was telling you about uh, bug spraying, another thing, uh, if something's eating the plant pretty bad, worms or whatever, <coughs> excuse me, uh, there's lots of homemade sprays you can make with uh, just with soap and water, which would work as well. So you can look that up on the internet if you want. But at any rate, that's what I just wanted to give you a little something to think about regarding spearmint. It's a beautiful ornamental and uh, smells great and makes delicious tea. That's all. Um, <clears throat> happy gardening. Peace. And uh, see you next time. This is Mo, your amateur urban gardener, signing out.